I want you to teach me the um, cha cha. <laughs> oh, no, you gotta stand up. One, two, one, two. And then there's also this. You go, hooray! Hooray. <laughs> no, <Sorry>. hooray! Oh, <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> hooray! <laughs> Hello friends, it's Nicole Anthony from BB21 and I'm in the studio with The Hollywood Reporter. Nicole, Hi. congratulations. Thank you so much. How has it been these past few hours? Oh Being my. out of the house, winning America's Favorite. What's it been like? It's been overstimulating. It's been overwhelming to finally be out of the house after 99 days and just see so many new people and to be overcome with so much love and respect yeah. and well wishes it's just, it's amazing looking back to kind of like your story on the show why do you think you won america's favorite what, what do you think it was i mean like looking at it i like you know the whole thing week four with that fight in the hoh room which i still don't know what happened or what was said i know that was a very very low point for me but then also surviving that and staying in the house and still fighting and not winning comps initially, but then pulling out that double eviction win and then pulling out a veto win, making it all the way to final three. Like I think just that underdog story, that triumphant story that can, something that everybody can connect to. Like I'm, I'm just me, like that's all I am. Everyone really does root for an underdog yes, every absolutely. season of Big Brother. And, but your, your story kind of was more heroic. It was, wow. you're rooting for an underdog hero. Which wow. I, I oh, like wow. to think, and that's what people have been calling you on Twitter. Have you noticed that people have called you Dan Gies, uh, Nicole Giesling by chance? No. So because everyone loves Dan Giesling, yes. he was such a beloved player, people compared you to him, and it's all over Twitter. It's Nicole Giesling. Oh my god. Yeah. So that's a huge help. That thank you so much. That's ridiculous. I have a bunch of questions from Twitter actually, because you have so many fans. This comes from at Kim Zales on Twitter. Do you know you were the only reason anyone watched the last several weeks? Oh my god, no, I didn't know that. Wow, that makes me really emotional. Um I was rooting for myself and that's amazing that Wow, that I'm the reason people were watching. You kept people tuning in, which what? is great. Ah, <laughs> I can't even wrap my mind around that. Um, when in the game did you kind of see as a turning point for you where, hey, I can actually win this thing, and this might be mine, and I have the potential to win the game? Well, my belief, and I, I'm not like blowing smoke, is like I said, if I'm getting on the show, I'm winning. Like that's, that's my mindset, that's it. So I came to the show, I'm like, I don't see myself in Jury House, I will never be in Jury House. So when I almost went out week four, I was like, oh no, maybe that's why I don't see myself in jury, because I go home. And then I think my turning point was that double eviction, when I was like, see, I can pull out a win, I can win things, I can make big moves, I'm not going to take like, easy, the easy route. Like, I could have very easily let someone else win that double and possibly not been the biggest target. And I was like, no, I'm, I came here to play and I'm going to play, and I think I can win things moving forward. Going back to that double eviction night, did you ever consider getting Mickey out that night, or did it um, not slip your mind? I think, you know, prior you always think like, oh, would I go the what Mickey is, Holly route yeah. or would I go the Chrissy Tommy route? But in that moment, because it's so go, 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 you end up going just on instinct and just on gut. Had I had a, a week to think about it, eh, maybe things would have happened. But it's, it's right away, it's quick, it's, this is what my gut is telling me. I think a lot of memory comps are coming up and I know Chrissy and Tommy are good at that. They're going up. Now we saw in the house this moment of you kind of catching on to what was going on with Tommy and Chrissy. You said in the diary room, there's something more there. I see it. Yes. Did you see that maybe they knew each other? I think I saw that they were very, very close and then sometimes acted as though they weren't. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why are you all of a sudden not? Like, there's, it was weird because all of a sudden they would be distant, but they would talk about things like, like they, you know, like when you see a sibling and you just have like these moments and it's like, well, that's kind of weird, yeah. you know? Yeah. It was, it was so odd. you weren't surprised when Tommy no. kind of told you, yeah. No. <laughs> like, oh. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Um, looking back to what everyone kind of is talking about, not evicting Holly, and you've got, probably gotten this question so yes. much last night. <laughs> it's all right. What, do you obviously regret that decision, and how do you think the finale would have shaped up differently had um, Holly been evicted that night? I think not so much regret, but I do think like, oh, if I had gone with Tommy, it might have been better for Nicole's game. Like. Going to final three, I think Mickey would have brought me to final two. Cliff would have brought me to final two. Tommy would have brought me to final two, possibly. But like I said, there's no way of knowing until you're actually in the house. And even if Tommy now says, oh yeah, what do I have to Mickey? He's a big threat. You don't know because there's such a long week of thinking and pondering. And Mickey's good. Yeah. Mickey could have got his ear and said, listen, you don't want to go to final three with a duo. And Tommy could have very easily put up me and Cliff and it would have ended up the same way. And maybe I would have gone out fourth. So I do wonder what could have been but I don't necessarily regret it. 
but you gave Holly your vote. Yes. Can you kind of explain what you learned about Holly and Mickey the, the past week living with just them sure. in the house? Sure. And- so, like I was saying, I really thought Holly was someone I could beat. Like, oh, no offense, no offense. Like, oh, she's not that smart. Yeah. She's not going to be good in memory comps. She's not going to be good with days and bases. I got this. And she blew me out of the water in that memory comp. And the more I sat outside with her and I spoke to her about her strategy, she's like, yeah, I'm really smart, Nicole. I have everything memorized in the house. I have all the days memorized. Um, it's my strategy to lay low and then come out at the end and just bang out all these comps. And I was sitting there like, wow, like that was my strategy to lay low and have a great social game. So I looked at her in those moments and I'm like, I never gave you enough credit. Like I saw you as riding Mickey's coattails and you know, just with Mickey and Mickey's carrying the team. And that wasn't always the case. Like she kind of held him back from always flipping out and physical competitor, mental competitor, great social game. And I think it wasn't commended enough. Now, if you were in the final two against Mickey, do you think you would have beaten them? Everyone said last night that they would have voted for you. I think I would have beaten okay. both of them. Yeah. I honestly do. Ugh. So, <laughs> you didn't make it to the final two chairs, Mm-mm. but right but? now, well, you won America's Favorite. Yeah. But also, if you had you made it to the final two, what would your final plea be of why you should win the game? I'm going to give oh, you man. the floor Can right I now. Drink? 60, Wait. Se- yeah, 60 okay. seconds like Julie gives. Take it away. So, it would have been altered a little bit depending on who I was sitting next to. But I would have said, like, jury, I came into this game as an individual. I didn't start out in a big alliance with a whole bunch of people behind me. It was just little old me. And, yes, I got myself into a bit of hot water, but I never lied. I never manipulated. I never puppeteered. It was always the truth. Yes, it was the truth to too many people, but it was the truth. And, ultimately, the truth set me free, and I stayed in this house. From there, I worked on my social game, and yes, it's a game, but it's a game of life. And in the game of life, the game pieces are not pieces. They are people with personalities and emotions and feelings and thoughts. And I always gave people the time of day, and I always empathized with them and was compassionate. Even if they were pre-jury and weren't going to vote and in camp comeback and didn't matter or who cares or going off to jury, I always gave people the time of day, and that was my strong suit, my social game. I also came out and won the double eviction HOH and a power veto, and I made big moves. I put up power couples both, time, both times I was HOH, and I wasn't afraid, and that's why I deserve to win the money. You had my vote. That, you, I vote for you. I had it planned, <laughs> I know. I also voted for you for American <laughs> Spirit, so <laughs> there you go. Um, taking another question from Twitter, from at Sophie Girl, how does it feel being called Nicole Geesling because the fans have adored you that much? Oh my gosh, Dan Geesling is one of the OGs. He is someone I admire, I look up to. I've watched his gameplay and said, he reminds me of me. I've said it. And I bought his book and I watched his videos. Oh, and you I, did? Yes, and I researched him and I'm like, yes, yes, everything he said, like, I feel and I will be in his spot, I will be in his position, I've seen it. But I never thought I would live up to his game level. Wow, that's amazing. That's pretty great. You're probably going to meet him soon, too. Oh, my God. Which will be great. I right, well, wow. he's actually right here. So. What? <laughs> uh, next question from Twitter, from I am Erica. What is it like to live your dream? Was it everything you hoped for? Oh, my gosh. It was everything I hoped for and more, but also far, far more difficult than I ever expected it to be. Expect the unexpected. Um, my new phrase for it is get comfortable with the uncomfortable. I expected to go into that house and have no connections with these people and whatever. I'm going to do what I want and win this game. And you build friendships, you build relationships, you empathize. And everybody that was on the block, I cried every Thursday because I just felt so bad taking that dream away from somebody. And it is difficult. There's a lot of downtime. There's a lot of dead time of just thinking. And there's no YouTube. There's no books. There's no, there's nothing. So you're just with your thoughts and paranoia and people arguing, people whispering, and it's constant. So it's extremely, extremely difficult, but on the other end of it, so rewarding. Talking about those connections, obviously you made lifelong friends. Yes. Who would you say you were the closest to in the house, besides Cliff, I guess? Okay, so besides Cliff, I was closest to my camp comebackers. We're all comeback yeah. kids. David, Kemi, Ovi. And, I mean, granted, me and Cliff are both on the block together, so either of us could have gone there. So oh, I, yeah, can, that's true. I consider yeah. all five of us the camp comebackers. And those are my people. Um, day 15 was a very difficult day for me when Ovi was evicted. And day 30 was even worse when three of my very good friends in the house walked oh, out. And yeah, those are my people. I love them. <laughs> uh, were you able to talk to them after the finale last night? How a little was, bit. Okay. Just cool. very yeah. like, oh, I love you. I miss you. And Obi, you know, he hugged me. He's like, you have no idea what's coming. 
you have no idea. And I'm like, I don't know what you mean, but okay. And then I was like hit with all the love and everything. And yeah, you like, it's going to be really overwhelming. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be crazy. I don't know. Uh, another question from Twitter. I actually got this a lot. This is from Elle on Twitter, at Gypsy Petals. She wants to know if you will be her best friend. Aww. My answer to that question is I may not be your best friend in person, in the flesh, but I am definitely your best friend in spirit. Best believe if someone needs a friend or anything, Nicole Anthony is there. I love you all so, so much. Last night you really had a powerful moment too when you kind of spoke out against bullying yep. in that day um, when Grateful was all in that room and it was literally like the worst day to I watch. Still and don't know what happened. They called them actually in the edit, they called them hateful. Wow. How did you kind of overcome that and, and how, what was oh, going man. through your head? Cat was, was really there for you. A lot of people yeah, were there for you. It was very, very difficult because I did try to get in that room and I wanted to advocate for myself and I wanted to bury them. Like, I just wanted to, like, let off, you know. And they wouldn't let me in, which maybe was for the best, maybe yeah. not, I don't know. And, you know, in that moment, I was fired up and angry and agitated. And then once that dissipated, it was just sadness. And I was in a very, very bad spot. It was heartbreaking, um, honestly. Yeah. Very bad spot. Um, and it was very difficult to get through. And I just had like my family in my head and my, my sister saying, you got this, you got this. And I'm like, no, I can do this because this is not the first time I've been bullied. This is not the first time anybody in the world has been bullied. Like I need to show that middle schooler, that high schooler, that college student, whoever it is that is getting bullied, like, no, no, don't run away. Like you will get through this. And I've, I said it in the DR as I was crying. I'm like, I will get through this. It'll happen. And you did get through it, and you won I the did. Yes, um, And a lot of people calling you actually the winner of VB21, which I don't know what your wow. reaction to I, that is. But. To be honest, I, and I know it sounds cliche, but I feel like the winner of VB21, with all the love I've received, and the fan favorite, and the way people are speaking about me and to me, and I know it's like so cliche, but I honestly feel like a winner. You're obviously really close to your family. Yes. Um, people loved your reaction to kind of seeing them in the audience last night. How was that moment for you reconnecting with them? Oh and... my gosh. Wow. My family, the four of them, they're my best friends. Like they're my world. I live with them. I work with my sisters. They're my best friends. I love them. And this whole game, I would talk to the cameras and be like, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't know if I'm doing that right. I'm just going with my gut. I hope it's right. And this is the first time in my life not having their reassurance or their validation or like, oh, what do you think of this? Or what do you think of that? It was just me. And to have an idea of what they would say to me or what they would tell me help me through but to actually see them very surreal it was oh. actually like a probably one of the realest moments we've seen all season oh god speaking of your outpouring support this season we have some fun videos that some fans of yours wow. made on twitter and you haven't had your phone yet so i figured mm. i'd give you a preview to oh what's gosh. to come okay when wow. you do have your phone Thank you, Nicole, for being engaging, genuine, funny, sad, enthusiastic, vulnerable, non-toxic, and above all, for being non-problematic in a season riddled with problems. Hashtag Nicole Appreciation Party. I'll show you the next one. That's incredible. That's, wow. Shout out Hamster Watch. Yes, Hamster Watch. Thank you so So this much. is from you. This is a funny oh. one of you doing... Some shady. Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. So funny. Wow, you guys see everything. Are you a big Eminem fan? Yes, Nicole Shady will. Oh, from Lucy in the Sky. Nicole Shady will always be my favorite version of Nicole. Yes. Wow, you guys truly do see everything. This one's kind of funny too. Is this what? She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is... Oh, no, it's, not, it's a fan-made video. It's not really Wendy oh. Williams. <laughs> Nicole Anthony House, a beastling fear of birds, first of her name. She's an icon. She's oh, they put the... They put, like, a, it was oh like a fan-made. Oh, my God. Now, come on now. From Conspiring Cat. No, there's two more. This one's really funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Nicole is dancing in her tutu. Yes, I am. From Clayton Baker. From Clayton Baker. Oh my god, thanks, buddy. <laughs> wow. And then this one is. Kevin! I don't know what y'all are talking about. I just saw Nicole and Kevin win Big Brother from Jennifer Ad Anderson. Yes. Wow. Shout out. Will you and Kemi be getting a spinoff? Absolutely. I, I, am, I ship that. <laughs> I freaking love Kemi. She is. Such a powerful woman. I quoted her in my eviction speech that night. I said, you know, a woman once told me, grab life, a strong woman once told me, grab life by the boobs. <laughs> and she is 
she did not get enough credit this season and I'm her friend and I defended her and I spoke to her, but now on the other side of it and I'm hearing things, I, I'm upset because I yeah. should have I should have done more and I should have up, been an upstander more and I should have defended her more. So like like although I did defend, I should have done more. Like the whole like you know blender bottle in the refrigerator, I was sitting there going, this is shitty. Well, a lot of people loved your um, goodbye message though to to See, Jack. I got because of I that, got him later in. because yeah. like at the time I'm like, oh this is really bad for the game. If I talk back at him, I don't want to go home. But yeah, I got him later. Were you aware of kind of the controversies going on? What was your reaction to it? I don't um, want to spend too much time on okay. it. I want to be I wasn't, positive. But. I wasn't aware of controversies in regard to anything with race or gender. Like, I don't know what it is, but race or gender or sexuality, anything like that. I was aware of people picking on people. And yeah. I, I didn't notice anything about race or anything like that, but I noticed like just Bullying picking on people. Yeah. Yes. What are you going to do with your uh, cash prize for oh America's Favorite House Guys? Wow. What, what are your plans for it? And oh, gosh. I want to get a car. I do not have a car. My sisters do not have a car. <laughs> I want to get a car that we all can share. I don't know. <laughs> do it. I'm overwhelmed. I wasn't expecting it. So it's like, ah. <laughs> now, would you and will you play again so you get that half mil? What's going to happen? Are you going to play again next season? What's going on? <laughs> I, my answer is always yes. I am up for anything. As much as I cry in, this, in that house and I apologize to anybody who had to watch me constantly oh cry. Oh, no. <laughs> like... I would, and as yeah. much as I complained, I would do it again in a heartbeat. I would go back right now. When you cried, I don't think anyone was like, oh my gosh, Nicole's crying again. There were other people in the house, I'm sure you can guess, yeah. while you looked yeah. at them, yeah. <laughs> who cried a lot. Um, what's next for you? What, what are you going to do when you get back home? And I don't know. I'm excited just to get home and to see my dad and my dogs and the preschool that I know has supported me, which is amazing. And just, I'm just excited for new adventures and trying new things and not being af afraid of failing and not being afraid of taking chances. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you. We're all so proud of you. Congrats uh, on everything. Oh my really, gosh, you have you. a bright, bright future ahead of you. Wow. I hope you play again. I hope so too.